welcome back to my channel guys welcome 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 if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber hey thank you so much for returning and being part of the family and if you're not part of the family yet please do become part of the family by just liking that button and just subscribing on that red button down below here somewhere thank you so much for the love the support guys the comments and everything else i really appreciate it guys i really appreciate it i like i really really appreciate it and yeah guys as you can see by the title of this video today i'll be uh sharing with you how i started my business at the age of 22 and with no capital with no experience with none of that at all all from scratch all from zero to somewhere right now so yeah guys um let's get into the video hi guys so i started my business in 2019 after receiving a prophetic call of doing business and entrepreneurship in, in 2018 and then I had to do my research the whole entire 2018 towards 2019 and 2019 when I was ready I then started my business I don't remember the exact date or month but I remember the year which was 2019 and at that time I was a nursing student and it was hectic for me like your studies were really hectic the time there's pharmacology you know bio and everything so it was really hectic However, because of the burning desire in my heart, I had to take the leap of faith and really do what I was now passionate of. Like now, I saw the light. <laughs> I saw the light and yeah, I wanted to run with it. But I had to do my research first. So I did my research and to see where, which side of business was I, was I going to be venturing in and how to go doing it and how to go uh, about doing it because at that time I was a student I was broke I had no money you know I was just a student so I had to save up I remember saving up my pocket money like my and my pocket money was not so great guys it was really not so great matter I managed to save up the little that I could save up um, to register my business so I registered my business and there were guys at school at varsity who were doing it they were just uh, dealing with uh, registering and doing the logos and the, um, the cover up for the businesses so I had to save up and then um, go to them to, for, for their help so that they can help me register and do the logo and everything else right so I did that, saved up the amount of money and I gave it to them so that they can register for me. They did register um, and then they did the logo for me. So my business is called Grace On Boutique and Grace On Boutique is a unique um, brand. It's a unique um, brand that produces accessories for both males and for females. So, so how I really went about it because I had no money, right? But I was a person who loved DIY things. So I had to search on YouTube. YouTube was my friend those days, guys. Like I used to really search, stay up at night, late at night, researching and doing um, all things necessary for me to start my business. So I used to love DIY things. I still do love DIY things, things that I could do myself. Because when I started, I wanted to venture out into drop shipping, right? But dropshipping was a bit costly for me because I could not get for my maybe 10 um, wholesale outfits and then have to pay for shipping. It was too much for me. And for a person who's broke, who has no capital, who has no money, it, it was just too much for me. So I wanted to look into something that I could do myself and then get a sell out. Then get, um, did my research on YouTube, looked at the DIY things. And I saw what's okay, these things I could do, my, my turn it into something I loved, and that was African fabrics. I still love African fabrics, dukes and stuff, you name it. So, um, I remember like the tie, the male tie. I was like, instead of like me using the normal fabrics that you'd find at a fabric shop, how about I incorporate um, African fabric? 
and that is how I came about making and sewing my tie from scratch with just my needle because I do not have a machine at the time it was just me and my needle me and my fabric and I just looked at my on YouTube so how it was done and I did it myself also with the earrings same thing and to tell you that the resources that I used guys you would love it was resources that were around me and that is what I wanted to do to use things that were around me because I could not do drop shipping I could not do um, like buying from um, the website for my wholesale slave and you name them I could not because it was just too expensive for me but I had to look on like the things that were around me and things were around me was a box took a box cut it up made earrings and <laughs> it still shocks people that I use like recycled material to make the things that I do I want things like Pringles your Pringles could turn into a bangle and people still don't know your robe can turn it into a necklace and people still don't know so yeah and that is how I really basically started my business I'm looking down because I wrote notes as you guys know well. so that is where how I started with zero capital with zero amount of money with just me with the passion with the passion with the desire to to make it well to desire to make things from scratch things were which were incorporated with African fabric so African fabric is like the main thing that I want to incorporate and yeah guys where I sell my things so I sell my thing on Instagram I sell my things on Facebook and yeah I'm working on getting a website so my business is very small but okay, I'm using the things that are around me to make um, a living to make something with nothing you know and I also ventured out this year in 2021 into doing beads so now I can do beaded bead bags um, your LS bands you know you can name it and yeah man that is how basically I started my business I started my business with zero capital with just a burning desire and yeah so guys if you really want to start a business or want to do something um, of a side hustle well because at the time I was starting as a side hustle for me because I was a student but that side hustle for me is becoming something bigger than just a side hustle something greater than just a side hustle and it could be for you so take the things that are around you and see how you can use them so another place which I sell my business is at flea markets and like not a lot of people know about flea markets especially South Africans and that is where you really can sell your things and really come back with like real money and like you waiting on your Instagram or your Facebook to put in or pump in some of your clients your clients that you receive at a flea market are very 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 good and especially for a small business guys because we cannot rent out like a whole store it's 4,000 more ever per month and your small business can't cater for that ever. so if you're a small business do use some flea markets and flea markets are all over uh, like like they all over and you find some people who are selling vintage you some you find some people who are selling food at the market and some people go out at the market to just use stress and just um, go to a place which is open go to a place where they can have their children play around while they're shopping while they're eating and having a good time you know? so flea markets are something that people do not know especially small businesses but they don't know what they can make a lot of profit a lot of money through flea markets so yeah it is the online thing and then the flea markets which I'm using currently to sell my things and yeah hopefully the website will come up um, soon when I start generating more profit because a lot of people were saying Lalo why aren't you having a website without knowing what a website is a lot $29 per month is quite a lot for a small business remember the small business with no capital the profits that you make is the profit that you use to generate more things so that you can get more profit you 
get me um but yeah as time goes whereby the profit is starting to get bigger higher you know we'll make your website and yeah i'm so excited for this april month because greater things are also coming um <laughs> greater things are coming like a lot of greater things are coming so look out on instagram do follow us do follow me and yeah guys thank you so much for listening to me i hope i was not rambling <laughs> I hope I was not rambling. I hope you got the the gist of the video. Is that how I started with zero capital and how I made my desires to be fulfilled and yeah to basically happen. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for the love. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, guys, see you on the next video. Bye.